everything about my rear brake is gone. I cut it off with a Sawzall. Look at that. This is so cool. Whoa. Oh, all is well. Mm. Coffee time. Oh. I'm on top of the mountain. My truck just went into limp mode. It just lost all power, so I'm pulled over hoping it'll reset. I'm trying to get to the desert to do a little solo adventure. We're cruising again. Looks like we're gonna make it. We're almost off the mountain. This is where the scenery starts to get good. Really fun to ride and such nice scenery. Very enjoyable. I've camped back here with my family. Kind of fun riding, a little bit technical, just a tiny bit. Just enough to make it fun. Lots of rocks, lots of trees, very tight. This is actually what this bike's kind of made for, is the rocks like that. I should pull over it just to give you guys a panoramic view of all this stuff. Two big beautiful alcoves there. Be fun to camp in those, huh? The riding's been really fun. Lots of rock. My bike is set up for rock and I'll show you more about that later. I think this just turns around. Something like right here. Oh yeah, people are going this way. It does look pretty challenging. I am by myself. Got to keep that in mind. Yeah, it looks like just a rough spot. Probably a few more of those coming up, but I should be able to get through them as long as I take my time and be careful. I don't want to get stuck out here by myself. this a little bit and see where people are going or if they turned around here. 
I think anybody who's come this far is probably deciding this is where they'll turn around because I don't see tracks. This is the end of the road. Sure is pretty. Yeah, beautiful canyon I'm in. And that's where I came from, back that direction. so because this washout in the middle is pretty darn deep it's just a little bit too rough back in there for me I'm out on the main road and we're gonna head down to another turn off and explore some other canyons kind of coming into a valley here cool spot right here there's this historic bridge I think where we're gonna go is down that direction. This looks like a good place to turn around, huh? Ooh, that's soft. Yeah, we're gonna go down along the edge of that and then go back in. Looks like we have somebody in front of us. A little bit of dust in the road. Very fun road. The technical roads are fun, but these fast roads are fun too. Just smooth and twisty like this. our turn. We'll see what's up this canyon. Yeah, that looks cool. Well, the road split off there for a second, but I think it's probably going to come back together. Nice little rock there to surprise you if you're not paying attention. campers right here. We usually camp up that canyon, but I've never been up that canyon. So I'm going to go up there and just see what there is. That rock is very neat. Very sculpted. Yeah, this is awesome. Riding in this soft sandy wash few little rocky patches here and there just enough to keep it interesting this is awesome look at that pretty soft sand down in here not too bad though oh cool rock this is awesome Let's see, where does the road go? Does it go up? Or does it stay down here? I don't know. 
going to stay down here for a second. Maybe pop back up here in a minute. I don't think I'm on the road anymore. I might have to turn around. Yeah, I'm not, I missed the road. Well, it might have been the end of the road. I'll show you around a little bit. Just beautiful, crazy landscape. Well, this road didn't go up nearly as far as I would have liked. I would have liked to have gone away up into there. That would have been cool. Lots of huge boulders. Can you imagine? As these boulders are just tumbling down. Balancing there. Just on the verge of falling, I would guess, but who knows. Sometimes you don't go exactly where you want to go because this sand has other ideas. Pretty fun though. I definitely want to bring my family back and hit that spot that I just came from. That's cool. It's getting tricky. Maybe a little too tricky now. Look at that. Yeah, maybe I can keep going. I don't know. There's a lot of big rocks. I don't want to get in there and not be able to turn around. I'm going to walk a little bit. Yet again, I find myself in a very lovely location. Yeah. Beautiful. That's pretty cool over there, too. I've got a very large tire on the front. That's an 18-inch rim. I had to re-spoke the hub to an 18-inch wheel. And that's a Cheater 505. Uh, that's the tallest rear tire you can get. And I have the exact same tire on the back. I turned off my camera and then I looked up. And look at that. How cool is that? Well, we're getting quite a ways back here. Look at that, beautiful. Wow, that's cool. I should stop and zoom in on it a little bit for you. The road's getting a little rougher. That's okay, it's kind of fun. Even zoomed in, it just looks so far away because it is quite a ways away. But it is a pretty awesome country. Hey cows. <laughs> you never know what a cow's gonna do. You never know what this road's gonna do either. Alright, here's some more rock. I'm gonna stay ready. Like another potential drop off. Nope, 
not too bad. Yeah, this is cool. This is a trailhead. This is the end of the road. There we go. Now, park it right here. Right there. We have reached the end of the road. They've got it gated off. I'll go just a little further, see what else is around this corner. It's layers and layers of beauty. As far as the eye can see. And this is all designated wilderness. Hike back to the motorcycle and uh, I'll go back up that road and see if I can find a place to camp. I don't see any signs on this wash. Maybe I can go up this a little ways and camp. Oh yeah, it's gonna get pretty rough right there. This is cool. Wow, some serious ledges. Very soft sand right here where the cows have been walking. You can see the cow trail, very defined. They all walk in the same path. See if I can get on their path. Oh, there's the cows themselves. Speak of the devil. They're like, what are you doing on our trail? You guys could just move to the side and I just go right past you. Looks like the cows really like this drainage. Based on the trail they're beating in. Wow, look how awesome this is. Oh wow, this is so cool. Look at that. Holy smokes. Let's see what's further up here. But that is awesome. I might just come back and camp right here. Just right there in the wash. It's not going to rain tonight. This is pretty soft. Careful going between two big rocks when it's this soft. Yeah, this might be the end of the road. Oh, this is cool too. Decisions, decisions. Oh, this is the end of the road. But wow, cool spot. Well, let's go for a little walk. I changed out of my riding clothes into some sandals and some hiking pants. Get up here on this ledge. Oh wow, it's super jagged, This, these rocks. You can see how sharp they are. Like, can you imagine falling on those? That would really tear you up. I'm just gonna sleep down here. If I had any 
concern about rain, I wouldn't. But uh, today and tomorrow are supposed to be clear. So, cool drop off. If it did rain, it'd be cool to watch the water run here. Kind of a little waterfall area. I'm just gonna walk up here a little ways. And kind of stretch my legs. Yeah, if I could get past that one ledge, I could go way up there on my motorcycle. And then over here is an actual alcove. So the water would definitely be falling here. Head back to camp and uh, start grilling up my steak on the world's smallest gas grill. That's the Firebox Nano, the Firebox Gas Burner with the titanium defuser plate. And we want to turn it way down. Wrap a windscreen around this thing. Let it work nice and slow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Put a little shake of a cut of spice on it. Mmm. That's wonderful. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Just eat it as it cooks. Mmm. I'm going to take that piece right there. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to turn that off and let it rest. My motorcycle is a 701 LR 2020. It's the only year they made them in the long range. There's six and a half gallons fuel capacity. So I thought that was a good starting point. And then I wanted to give myself every mechanical advantage I could because I was just learning. Um, so it does have a recluse clutch. It does have a left hand rear brake. You can see my bracket, everything about my rear brake is gone. I cut it off with a sawzall. So down here I have the RAID garage storage bash plate. I've got all my heavy tools in there. I replaced the big air box that was under the seat with the tray, the white tray and then I put a water bladder in it uh, that I can drink out of while I'm riding that is carried you know, fairly low on the bike rather than being on my back. And it holds almost a full gallon. It does have the Taco Moto fuel pumps. I do have very low gearing. I make up for that a little bit with these really tall Shinko 505 cheaters. In general, it is geared really quite low. I can go as slow as four miles an hour when it was new and stock, the slowest I could go was 10 miles an hour. These big tires with the tubeless system make it so I can run 6 to 8 PSI in both the front and the rear. So there's no tire rebound at all. It just sucks up the bumps. It's very smooth and very forgiving. Anyway, that's my bike. I don't know if I over modified it to the point to where I've ruined it or if I've made something special. Why don't you guys tell me down in the comments what you think. Yeah, I let it rest a full 10 minutes. And usually I'm not that patient, so I'm proud of myself. So it's time to eat this. Oh, I was gonna save that part for last. Let's move this over and 
just cut a slice off. Hoo hoo hoo. I almost went too far, but it looks pretty good. I didn't bring a thermometer this time. A little Hakata spice. Mm. Oh wow, that is so tender. That might have been the best bite. Might have eaten it first, because that sure was good. Mm. That is so good. Let's see if I was right, and it really is the best piece. Mm. It's pretty good. Had all that fat on the end, but none of that fat was chewy. It was all kind of tender and nice. See what we can do with this. I'll try not to stretch it anymore because it doesn't fit as it is. If I make it any bigger, I'll just have a bigger problem. Sprinkle our cinnamon sugar. So we'll put a little cream in here. Whoa. You know what happens when I start mixing cream with stuff, I end up making a really big mess. Try to keep that all in there. Squeeze this butter out. Some big chunks. Something like that. I'm gonna cut these. Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> oh boy. Oh goodness gracious. What I'm thinking is that I'll have to turn it. So it's going to take a long time to cook. There's no doubt about it. A little bit of fresh cracked salt. And we'll cover it up. A few moments later. All right, it's burned. Uh, but let's see. What can I do to temper the heat a little more? I'm going to put the grill on here. And then I'll scrape that burned part off. I picked off all the burned parts. Let's see if I could turn this again, maybe. I'm afraid I'm going to have to turn it like a hundred times. But it is browning. It's actually starting to look pretty good. Because eventually, I think we're going to get there. He used to be a landscaper, so pretty good at getting ground level. My new heavy duty tarp, poncho, hammock, everything. This one's actually not a hammock, but make an excellent tarp, excellent ground cloth, and excellent poncho. There's my bed. I'm gonna put on my down pants. These are a must. Anytime you're sleeping in the desert. I'm 
just put them right over my clothes. That way I don't have to change clothes. I just have to add a layer, take off a layer. So, how's this look? My nighttime attire. Down jacket, down pants, everything over the top of my regular clothes. Got my beanie, got my fleece socks. I have down booties for when I go to bed. So, I should stay warm. I think this has got to be about done. Let's see what's going on. Let's see if I can get a hold of it. Oh, it still feels a little soft. I'm going to give it another 10 minutes. All right, I'm ready to taste this. I think it's cooked enough, no matter how much it's cooked. So I'm just gonna cut a piece and try it. I know it's gonna be dense because I smashed the heck out of it, but I think it's actually cooked. Little cream cheese frosting, and we'll give it a try. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. You know what? It's actually really good. It doesn't really taste doughy. Hmm. That's pretty good. It'll be good with coffee too. The brown parts are nice and crunchy. Mm. Wow, that's really good. I'm just going to let that cook from the residual heat because a little more cooking is not going to kill it. And I doubt it'll go too long since I did turn the gas off. Good stuff. I'll enjoy that tomorrow with my coffee. Good morning. I'm thinking it's probably 6.30. Let's see. Seven twelve. I slept in a little bit because it was just cold. It was a warm night, but it was a cold morning. But it's warming up fairly fast. And I think I can get up and make some coffee and eat some breakfast. No cougars ate me. No spiders bit me. No snakes tried to crawl into bed with me. It was a success. I'm happy. All in all, it was a good night. Cool. Now the one thing I was worried about was vermin. One of them got a hold of my cream cheese frosting. But that's okay. I'll just make a hole over here on this end so that I won't get contaminated. And other than that, all is well. And my cache of yumminess. Mmm cinnamon brick I want to uh, get some water on for coffee so I'm gonna go ahead and take old cinnamon brick out and set it over here mm. that's good I think what I'm gonna do is warm this pan up a bit so I can wipe it out Whew. in fact I'm not thinking about this but I should take this off before it gets hot Ooh, already got hot and 
Take this off. Turn that down a little bit because I just need it to be warm. And just warm all that up. Sounds like it's warmed up, at least on the bottom. So maybe I'll be able to get my cooking stone to fall out. Looks like there's some fat in there that I can get to drain out. Let me go ahead and turn that off. Not quite too hot to handle, but pretty darn warm. Beautiful. I can clean that up a little better when I get home. And cleaned up. Well, it looks good to me. Let me grab my water so I don't overheat my pan. Right when I was about ready to leave, I noticed my motorcycle was dripping gas. I got looking a little bit closer and one of the fuel lines looked all cracked up. I thought it was probably just because it was close to the exhaust and it had gotten hot. But I got looking around and all the fuel lines have little cracks on them. So I didn't have time to change them all out. I just changed out the one that was actually leaking. But I've been watching. I've been looking for drips. And when I get home, I'll take her apart. and I'll just trade out all the fuel lines. But I was very disappointed to see fuel lines kind of going bad that quickly. I've had cars that were, you know, 20 years old and the fuel lines were just starting to need to be replaced, you know, at that point. So I think KTM's using some crappy fuel lines. Looks like my fuel canister is right at the end of its life. But we're almost there. Oh, yep, it's boiling. So we got it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if my pan wasn't clean before, it's a lot closer now. you but this beats any cafe anywhere anytime this is perfect coffee ambiance I'm 
quite honestly, the cinnamon brick. That's just as good as anything I've ever gotten from any coffee shop. Found myself a little spot of sunshine here. Feels nice. This is a very cool little spot that not very many people see, I'm sure. Maybe some ranchers trying to find their cattle at the end of the season. to remember where I was on the rocks and where to get off because there's some step downs. Yeah, I think I went across the rocks. Yeah. a peg there. The sand's soft. Sometimes it wants to tell you where to go. A little bit more speed will be good. Luckily I have my track to go by. Hello cows. It's okay. Just relax. I'll be gone before you know it. Somewhere right here. Nice. That was an awesome little camping spot. So glad I decided to cruise up this wash. It was a lot of fun. It made it more adventurous. Just camping in some wash. want to do that if it's gonna rain though. Boy oh boy what a surprise that would be.
standing here up in this cool air just soaking it in such a cool rock it's right there sitting by itself looks like a skull that was creepy some of these bumps you can't see doesn't really matter yeah this is awesome Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye.